I want to give an update to the WinLink video that I posted a week ago. I actually have some good news. There were a whole lot of you commenting that wanted WinLink on your Mac, and uh, a lot of people commented that it's closed source and they're gatekeeping and the VARA guy won't help and the WinLink development team won't help uh, on anything other than Windows. Well, I want to put some truth behind those rumors and, and clear up some things. On Saturday morning, I got a phone call from Steve Waterman. Steve Waterman is the co-founder of WinLink, and he is also a Mac user. And his words to me were, I would love to see WinLink Express and everything that goes with it, VARA HF, VARA FM, all, all everything on Mac as well. He said the only reason he has a Windows computer is to use WinLink. So we've got that in. So we had about an hour and 45 minute conversation. And in that conversation, I asked the questions that I was capable of asking, not being a software developer and merely being an end user. But the most important question that I asked him is, would the WinLink team be open to and supportive of developers creating a version of WinLink Express for Mac? And his answer was yes. Developers would have the full support from the WinLink team to develop it. So all of this gatekeeping that we're talking about where you know, people have mentioned to me they have reached out to the WinLink team and they've just ignored them or they've told them no, blah, blah, blah. That may have been the case. I don't know what your particular conversations were, but I know the conversation that I had with the founder of WinLink says that they are 100% in support of this happening. Now, here's the catch. Ham radio operators are not the main user for WinLink. It is our federal government Things, entities like Red Cross, FEMA, etc., cetera, uh, as well as some uh, Canadian government agencies for emergency communications is what they use WinLink for. So that's where 99.9% .9 of their efforts go to, the WinLink team, is for supporting the government needs. Now, with that comes a lot of security procedures that need to go through the development of the WinLink process. And Steve told me that there have been several people who have approached the WinLink development team and have started developing a version for Mac to run natively on Mac. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, whether it was family or time, those developers had to back out of the project and were unable to complete it. Because of the vastness and the depth of everything that is entailed in WinLink Express, and once those people kind of really dove in and got their feet wet, it turned them off. It was, it was just an immensely large project and too large for one person or, or those previous people to handle. So I asked Steve, how long would it take a single person to rewrite all of the code for WinLink Express to run natively on a Mac? And he said about a year or two. And that's like 40 hours a week working and, and doing development and stuff. It, it's, it's a big undertaking. It's much bigger than I would have ever imagined. So the solution is if we really want this, if there are developers out there that have that much time, probably probably retired guys um, that have that much time to dedicate this, we really need to, and when I say we, I mean you, the developers, and the WinLink team, because honestly, this is kind of all I can do to help. I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a programmer. I can, I can be a, a quality control guy. You know, I can, I can beta test it, tell you if, tell you if it works, find any bugs, you know, I, I did that for hammers, <laughs> kind of a different scale, but, um, so we, we really need a team of developers that have the time and dedication to actually do this for Mac. Now, Steve also told me, 
uh, a little bit about Jose, who is the developer of Vara HF. Now we have to understand these guys have a product. They've developed something and they have uh, rights to it. And I get that. But he seemed pretty convinced that if this were to actually happen for Mac, he could convince Jose to uh, write the code for Vara HF and Vara FM for Mac. He said he'd probably jump on the opportunity to do it. He was pretty optimistic. Uh, not to mention that Vara HF and Vara FM are bo both available on Linux uh, to run natively. So that that is a thing. That has happened. So I know we're probably all thinking of asking me questions and posting comments, which you're more than welcome to. Uh, if I can answer them, I'll, I'll try. Uh, but the likelihood of me knowing any real answers to actual specific questions is very unlikely. What you need to do is go to winlink.org and scroll all the way to the bottom where it says wanted. Software developers. Let me just read this. The WinLink development team is looking for talented software develops who have expertise in digital signal processing, VB, C Sharp, C, C++, with Windows, .NET Core, Python, JavaScript, OS X, iOS, Android, open source project, Git, and AWS experience. We need developers who can move our programs to new platforms and environments, keep pace with security standards, and to help innovate for the future. If you have volunteer time, are willing to help, work well with others, and would like to join an accomplished team, please contact Tom, KI6IQA, and this is a hyperlink, so if you click this, it'll just open your email, and you can send off your questions to Tom. So there is a light at the tunnel. Granted, it is a very, very, very dim light, but it is there for running uh, Win WinLink Express on a Mac. Now, a lot of you have commented about crossover and wine, um, the VMware Fusion Pro Personal Edition that I'm using. I'm actually wiping my computer right now to get rid of all of that. It's just bad. The experience is terrible. You guys saw how slow it ran. I'm getting rid of everything. I also installed Linux Ubuntu on my MacBook Air in hopes that I could run 73 Linux with my ARM processor. And I got some of it working and that was about it. I got Vara HF installed. It would not install Vara FM. I could never get the rig control to work. Um, uh, FL Digi wouldn't install. I, had, I, did ha I did end up installing that manually, but with the 73 Linux code that KM4ACK has, uh, it, just, it just didn't work. So that's just an ARM processor thing not working so for right now i'm not going to be running winlink portable it's just it's it's too buggy and laggy to run windows on this machine i have it here in the shack so i can use it here on the little windows uh computer that i have buying a windows computer is not a solution i did buy a new evolve uh three laptop um i i ended up driving back down to micro center and and returning it i just i'm, I'm not doing it unless there's an actual solution to run WinLink Express natively on a Mac. I'm just, I just, I don't have the patience. I'm not that guy. But we can make it happen. So if you are a developer and you want to get involved, there, there are people who have told me specifically they want to get involved. Email the WinLink dev team. Ask them the questions that you would want to ask as a software engineer and hopefully we can move on from there. Keep me in the loop. Let me know what happened. Email me, k at mrd at icloud.com. I'd be curious what your dialogue was with them. Um, and let's see if we can kind of get this ball rolling. If, if there's anything else I can do, I am here. Uh, I, I don't think I'll be much help. But <laughs> since I'm the one that's kind of starting this whole thing, um, I am absolutely here to help in any way that I can. So... Again, just wanted to tell you guys, there is hope. There is support from the WinLink development team to make WinLink Express available on Mac. It will be a very long and challenging process, but sometimes in life, that's just the way she goes. So if you're up for it, contact the WinLink dev team and maybe we can help change the world. My name is Mike, K at MRD. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, 73.